Hello everybody, welcome back to American Truck Sim Multiplayer. Joined by Polecat. Everyone else is either gone or busy. So, uh, the two of us are gonna do a little run, I guess, what, to... Where are we going? Elko? Barstow, no, I think. Eureka, right? Eureka, yeah. We're going to Eureka, California. I currently don't have a trailer because I need to get sleep because I have that stupid no jobs bug and I'm not tired in game. So I can't actually get a trailer right now. So I'm just going to follow Polecat up there. Hopefully by the time I get up there, I can grab a trailer. I think, um, I, think I should have went the other way. I don't know. I'm following you. So. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, this um, could be rough. This is going to be difficult. I can't quite drive a manual truck and look at a phone at the same time. It's a little bit difficult. Well, I think it's a little better than me doing it, so... Um, yeah. I mean... <laughs> we'll see. I'm having trouble staying in the lane. I think I'm just blowing every red. Okay, let me pay attention. All right, so I asked on Twitter for questions from everybody so we can have some questions to answer while we truck. Um, I'm going to butcher a lot of people's names, so just be prepared for that. Um... Polcat can also look and see some of these questions too. Yeah. So if he wants to pick some out, he can. I'm just going to kind of go down the list as of right now. We got a lot, so we're not going to get to everybody, unfortunately, but we'll try to get to uh, the majority. And if we get duplicates, you know, well, I'm not going to answer the same question twice. Um, but the first question from uh, Jared Bailey is How did you two become friends? Uh, YouTube, pretty yeah, much, right? Pretty much YouTube. I started watching you and. I commented on a video, and then a couple months later, kind of everything fell in place. Yeah, we got in contact with Polecat because we loved his EMB on GTA 4, and uh, contacted him, started talking, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's kind of how it all fell into place. But we hate each other. We do. It's a horrible um, friendship. Yes, it's very abusive. <laughs> okay. Um, it's mildly abusive. abusive. Mildly, yeah. Um, Nelson asked, will you ever do a meetup with your subscribers? Uh, yeah, we plan on doing that soon. Um, funny you ask. Uh, what? I said funny you ask. Yeah, we plan on doing that soon. Unfortunately, by the time you guys see this video, uh, it's going to be happening like the next day. So yeah, very true. that's not really, there's nothing really to plan. Um, It'll just be what had happened. Yeah. If you want more information about when we're going to do stuff like that, the best thing to do is follow right, us on Twitter and Instagram. Turn, uh, there okay. is somebody talking. Um, I did not realize that was a feature of American Truck Sim, how, and I really want to turn that off. How, how do, do we I not have that happen? To shut up? I no, don't know. I really... I like this part of the bridge. I, okay. okay. How do we not have this going on? <laughs> okay. Uh, you t Do I go right... I I'm to, following you. Wait a second. I haven't even picked up a trailer yet, or am I driving Dude, to pick up the you're trailer? You're driving to pick up the trailer. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. GPS to it, right? Yeah. Oh, Jesus H. Christ, those train tracks were the bumpiest things I've ever driven over. Okay. Uh, oh, Lord. This is going to be pretty rough. We're going to hit Roadmaster. Oh, and I'm going to run a red. Oh, it's I'm that one guy, red. Google. I'm running a red. Okay, well, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. So, uh, Kyler Keith asks, what was it like meeting each other in person for the first time? Um, um, different. I don't know. Yeah, Cause weird, it's I It's someone guess, that you only knew online. Yeah. I only knew him by a voice. Um, I don't even think you had a webcam. <laughs> this is... <laughs> so... <laughs> no, I mean... I don't know, honestly. I don't know if I did or not. I, it, it all came together because we were doing the, the, the ASL, ice bucket challenge. Ice bucket challenge. Yeah. So we were like, well, why don't we just do it together? Since we found out that we live relatively close. Yeah. We are like, why don't we just do it together? And then that's when the first time we met. So it wasn't really... It didn't really make it awkward because we were actually getting together to you do put something. Your lights on, buddy. Come on, okay. dude. <laughs> Shut up. Please stop talking. How do I turn... Okay, there we I go. I don't know how to turn it off. This guy's tell... Hold on. I'm going to interrupt the question because this guy tells me to turn my lights on, but both of them blow a red. Yeah. What kind of shit? How do I use a blinker? Yeah. Um, I don't know. How did you, what you set up for Blinker? My I, controls are totally different from yours. That's very true. I cannot tell you how you uh, use it. what did I just click? <laughs> uh, I should probably just check. Let me you check. Stay back there. Okay, we got to turn All him right, down. I, that needs to go. Turn the radio volume down. Is that what it is? I think that has to be the connection there. Uh, in audio? Yeah, audio. Radio? Radio. 
Okay. And then let me go to controls and I'm looking for blinker. All right. Let's hopefully that does it because I don't want that at all. Why did they do voice chat? That's not a good. It's like yeah. CB, I guess. Because it, it only worked when they got in range. Yeah. But still. No, don't like that. Yeah, While I don't we're waiting like for Polecat at a possibly a green light, I can't tell. Yeah, we're probably. Um, right. What are your guys' favorite? Oh, this is from uh, Tom is a Beast. Okay. Um, I can't figure it out, so we'll just go. Okay. Oh, I got it. You got your flashers on, it looks oh. like. I got a red light ticket from an Invisible Police. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Tom is Beast asks, what is your guys' favorite police cars other than the CVPI? Uh, definitely the Explorer. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to say the Explorer. Yeah, most the, definitely. The utility, it has to be the best. Also, he wants to know how many pets do each of you have? Uh, I got two dogs. Polkat has 65 <laughs> yes. animals. I'm harboring them. I'm trying it's, to sell all the cats I have. It's really bad. It's yeah. a cat problem. It's a cat pack, literally. A cat um, pack, yeah. All right, I got it. I might <laughs> I trailer. I only have no. one animal, so. I only have one animal. I only have one. Jesus. Well, I'm not polecat, so. Okay. I'm just, I'm the animal man. I'm that one guy in uh, Ace Ventura. <laughs> Did you get the trailer? Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh. I got it back up. Um, from Zach Robinson, what's uh, your favorite hobby? Interesting. Um, I would say working on cars. Yeah, as of now it is. Yeah, I mean, that's something that we both do to relax and have something to do when yeah. we have time off. Okay, uh, which isn't Excel. really relaxing because we get furious that yeah. things aren't working right. So I don't know why we continue to do it, but we do. But you got to keep your car good. Yeah, you got to keep your car good. Got to keep your car did. Or else. Yeah, going to the garage. Dude, um, that oh, didn't help at all. That did not do anything. That didn't do anything. That's really bad. How do we... Dude, it has to stop. It needs to stop. We need to get away from these people, or they need yeah. to get away from us, one or the I other. I think they could possibly be... I don't know. Okay, they're going. They're yeah, going. they're going. And we're, we're turning right anyway. Actually, they might be going the same direction as us, but well, fuck it. Well, let's... Yeah, they're turning right. Um, from Aaron Good, uh, is there any chance that I... Oh, well, never mind. Um... <laughs> Uh, just sent one to Polcat. Uh, what is it like being a part of Code Zero Gaming? That's from Not Sane. And it's asking me? I don't know. Both okay. of us. Well, um, I don't really know to, how to answer that because I've been a part of Code Zero since the beginning. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. There it is. It's nice. I don't know. It's cool because we have a lot of people that have a lot of different skills and a lot of different personalities, but we all match up really well. Yeah. So it's cool seeing just the talent in every single different person in Code Zero. Everybody kind of has their own thing that they're good at. That's true. And well, uh, we all get together with different personalities, which is pretty cool. From my perspective, I was a subscriber. Yeah. Looking in and then became a member. Goddamn flashers. So. Goddamn flashers. Oh, God, I almost ran off the road. How did you get down there already? What do you mean? I'm behind you. Oh, okay. No, that's someone else. Okay, anyways. Uh, so, re revise on the question again. Uh, yeah. the, the question, oh, yeah. what is it What's like being like a code zero? zero? Um, yeah, it's just, it's a good experience to be, to watch videos of them and then to be in it uh, months later when we did all that was just an amazing experience. So, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah. I Definitely. mean, I, there's a lot of things that I forget. You know, like, Zach was a fan. You were a yeah. fan. There's a lot of people that were fans that are now a part of Code Zero, so it could happen to anybody. Yeah, you just got to work. You were at what three thousand subscribers when we? Yeah, three thousand around yeah. there. So Maybe it's all. Four. It's all. We don't really look at. I mean, we look at channels in a way, but it's also personality, how people fit with other people. It's you know, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but we don't just write people off because they, you know, don't have a certain amount of subscribers or something like that. Yeah, definitely. So, um. Sniper Shot asks, would you guys ever consider moving in together? Like rent a bigger apartment or a house? Well, it just um, came up in a few talks. Yeah. I, I mean, mean that it would be pretty cool. We live so close as it is, so. Yeah. It would be nice just to, you know, live together, be, in a, be able to work on YouTube in the same house. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. You could probably house. get a lot of cool videos done. Oh, yeah. It would be Vlog Central. 
Uh, probably. Yeah. Which That's a dream old. of mine, is to have a house with either YouTubers or another YouTuber to yeah. be able to just have that experience in life and see what it would be like. Just like yeah. going to college and having a dorm. You know, experiencing That's that. True. I would never experience that because I'm not ever going to college, though. Yeah. Don't, don't take my path, though. Don't take your path. I what mean, does that mean, go to college. Oh, <laughs> right. I was like, what do you mean? Or don't? take my path. I mean, do I didn't cocaine. go to college. Do what you gotta do. I don't plan on going to college. I mean, I know, it's just... I just didn't want to start my life in debt. That's the only reason why I didn't go to college. Yeah, that's very true. Um, Yan, the famous Yan, Yantastic, asked, if you could move to wherever you want in the world for no cost at all, uh, would you do it, and where would you move to? Um... Oh, God, I don't know. I'd probably sure. pick some crazy place where I could do whatever I want to my Crown Vic. Uh, like Saudi like, Arabia. Yeah, like Saudi Arabia. Something like that that's crazy. I'm not even in a lane. Something that's crazy <laughs> that I could just do whatever I want to my Crown Vic and not have anyone look at me and go, oh, he's going to rape someone. So, yeah. you know what that's I mean? What like people are thinking. I mean, all the time. Most definitely. Yeah. Yep. Like everyone that owns an X crown Vic is just going to rape someone. <laughs> wow. I didn't think that's what people were thinking. I mean, that's... I guess so. I just ruined the fun for every Crown Vic owner. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go sell my Vic real quick. Yes! Yeah. Oh, God, I, I think almost ended you. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm trying to, like, every time I get a chance to try to figure out the blinker, I try to figure it out. But that's fine. it just doesn't work. That's fine. You figure it out. I'm trying to shift an 18-speed truck manual <laughs> while on the phone. That's It doesn't great. work out. Just, you just can set you know. the phone up in front of you on the screen. How... And- here, I'll, I'll, I'll help a little, too. Let me yeah, just, you read some questions. I'll read some questions. I'll, I'll read probably, the next one, though. All right. Um, Michael asks, would you ever want to become a cop in real life? I would, but I don't think I'm cut out for it. <laughs> Watch my LSPDFR. I'm clearly not cut out to <laughs> yeah, be a cop. Yeah, seriously. Same here. Too, <laughs> too many deaths. Too many deaths, too many anger problems, just hair trigger just no yeah would not work I would apply to be a cop they would see my YouTube channel and go mm mm definitely no okay yeah this is gonna be good I see Dude, the difficultness see in what this. I mean <laughs> yeah this is not good <laughs> uh, uh, what's your thoughts oh I got a good one should LSPDFR have multiplayer that's from Blue Rise okay that's a good one let me uh let me just favorite this one cause this one's a good one as well okay um Oh, yeah, that's right. I should favorite all these. The ones that you say. Yeah, the ones yeah. I'm reading, I'm going to favorite. Okay, so anyways, uh, yes, I think LSPDFR should incorporate a multiplayer experience so that way not only ourselves and Code Zero, and but other people and their friends could get in there and just do what we so desperately want to do. Simple You're as that. All over the road. Dude, I'm over here like trying to read questions still because, yeah. Uh, wait, what, did you just read a question? No, I didn't read a question. I answered a question that you asked. Oh, the one about should LSPDFR have multiplayer? Yes. Yeah, it definitely should. And I, I hope it does one day, because if it does, that's going to be amazing. At least not even... You know, we've talked about it. Even if it's not technically LSPDFR, as long as we can get some real-life cars in there, some Crown Vicks, some Chargers, utilities, stuff like that, we can do the SAPDFR series, which we all really enjoy doing, just with real cars, which yeah. would be... oh. That would be ten times better. It'd be amazing. Yeah, but LSPDFR aspect would still be nice. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Um, would you guys recommend any other ex police car other than a CVPI? I can't just because I haven't. I've never owned anything else besides a CVPI. Like I've never owned an old Dodge Charger or a Caprice or an Impala or and I've ne- I've only owned a Crown Vic, so I can't recommend other things. But, what was the question again? Uh, would you guys recommend any other ex-police cars other than a CVPI? Yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how to answer that. Um, you have any? Um, I got one that says, how from Dylan Welch, how old are you guys? Oh, I am 23. And I'm 22. 22. Just turned 22. 22. Actually, um, I'm sorry. He just turned 17. He <laughs> just turned four. He, <laughs> so anything's possible, people. He's actually, today is his birthday. Sweet 16. I am three minutes old. Okay. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, just popped out this bitch. Like, what the fuck? <laughs>